I just watched the new Pat Bytes video about some of the differences uh, between the different rendering engines of Half-Life software versus OpenGL, specifically with regards to the water. And uh, I thought I would check it out myself and see if I could find anything else that was uh, an interesting difference between the two uh, versions. So first of all, thing to note, uh, the software renderer is not available on the native Linux version of Half-Life. So if you're on Linux or I assume Mac OS, you're going to want to actually maybe it maybe wouldn't work at all for Mac OS. But if you're on Linux, you just have to um, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool to launch the Windows version via Proton. Uh, and here we are in Half-Life. So in Options Video, you can change the renderer between software and OpenGL. So let's go uh, check out some stuff. See map C one A zero. And here we are. This is the software renderer. Immediately you're gonna notice. Um, let's hope it isn't too loud. Okay, hopefully it's not too loud now. Uh, immediately you'll notice that things look more pixelized. Um, in the software renderer. So let's just do a comparison. And you can see it sort of sm smooths out everything, makes everything look kind of like a blurry mush, uh, which I've never personally liked. I've always wondered why old footage of uh, Half-Life 1 and uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 didn't have the texture smoothing. And now I know. Who wants, who, who wants widescreen? We're going for the retro, the true retro vibe. And now you can see no texture smoothing, every pixel visible. It just looks better, in my opinion. And you know what? Maybe we should uh, play this at a at a at a real retro resolution. This is the true Half-Life experience. Honestly, you could sell this as a modern retro-inspired boomer shooter on Steam, and uh, no one would be able to tell the difference. Look, doesn't this microwave just look look more aesthetic now? I'm blowing up your goddamn food. Doesn't it look so much nicer without all the textures being mashed together in a blur? Maybe it's just my opinion, but let's let's do a quick comparison of this room. Always like this room. Yeah, doesn't it just look blurry now? Like it's not just me. It looks like they just put a big blur filter over the whole thing. And you know what? Let's turn on low video quality just to get the true uh, experience. There we go. Now you can see all the jaggies. Let's do another comparison. In the test chamber. I love the way he says that line. In the test chamber. But yeah, you you get up close to these textures now, and they just look like blurred masses. Especially when you're up close to them like this. Like, what would you rather have? That? Or this? I mean, at least this doesn't look like someone's just blurred everything in your field of vision. Maybe you find the, the, the pixelation distracting, but... Clearly shit is going wrong. Why are they letting me in here? I don't know. Okay, this takes 10 fucking years. Um, is it C1, A1? There we go. Now we're in a place. Yeah, this this will work. Crowbar. I'm gonna be honest, this video is just an excuse to play Half-Life 1.
Good question, Bonnie, but you're going down. I need your gun, bitch. Hi. Okay, well, let's get out of here before something terrible happens. Well, that's not the first time I've made that mistake. Alright, yeah, well that works. Is this possible? There we go. See, I feel like this could be... I, I mean, I know I said this a second ago, but I feel like this could be like... Some sort of analog horror modern... Uh, ho like Steam... Itch.io horror game, you know? Like, if I saw this on Itch.io, I'd be like, hell yeah. You know, this is my sort of shit. Where's my HUD? I just realized. Where's my HUD? You know, people always complain about the jumping puzzles in this game. I've never understood what them... You know, people always complain about the jumping puzzles in this game. I've never understood what they're so mad about. They're pretty easy. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. Look at this place. He doesn't want to die. Oh, there he is. I can't even get in there. But that's storage. What are they storing? I still can't change weapons, by the way. Oh yeah, water. So look at the water. Now it's all sloshy stuff. You know? Play a game with the floor is lava. D wait, I don't have an HEV suit. That's why I don't have a HUD. I just figured this out. Okay, I gotta find out how to what the command is to give myself an HEV suit. Okay, now I have an HEV suit. Well, I was on low health the entire time. The water definitely looks way better. I mean, Pat Bites was right. It really does, like, I can't get over how much it just looks like, uh-oh, like a blurred filter on the screen. hasn't noticed me. Okay, that's not good. That clicking sound, you don't want to hear that. Because I just gotta run past these guys. Oh no, I appear to have fallen. I'm pretty low on health right now. Some health would really be nice. Oh fuck, I, I shouldn't have killed those guys. Now I'm gonna have to do this the long way. Oh, I don't even have grenades, because I- Oh wait, the grenades are in this room. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, this is supposed to be a video- A video about the, 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 the video settings of this game. It just looks higher detail to me. I mean, I guess it, it is higher detail. Don't make me do this. <laughs> Where'd he go? Uh oh. <laughs> Let's get to uh, 
here. There should be more some more interesting graphical stuff around here. Oh, whoops, I mean, we've got hostiles in the wrong, wrong goddamn place. Wait, all my weapons have been taken away. Okay, I just, I just impulse 101 because, uh, fuck it. Oops, I appear to have fallen off my vehicle. Okay, let's take a look at the sludge, because that's what we really wanted to look at, was the sludge. Okay, sludge. Whoa. Look at how sludgy it is. Uh-oh, I'm in the sludge. Exactly where we want to be. We're supposed to surf this? They had surfing in Half-Life 1? What the hell? I didn't know that. I've always just jumped over from here to here. There we go. See, the lighting gets fucked. Everything's worse. Everything is simply worse. Okay, you know what? We're going to do a hardcore comparison here. I'm not going to move the mouse. I'm going to go... Where am I going to go? I'll do a full comparison. So, this is what it looks like. Uh, okay, we go widescreen. And we're going 1920 by 1080. With HD everything. Okay, so this is how a modern player sees this, right? This is how a modern player who just installs Half-Life on their computer sees this. And now let's switch back to this is how it was in the 90s. This is how the game was supposed to be seen. I don't, is it just me or does it look way better? Like, all of the mistakes in the texturing, how, like, this te these textures aren't wrapped properly and, like, it cuts off at a weird angle. Like, it looks way more natural in the lower res. It kind of helps to cover up some of the problems with the, 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 the technology at the time and the way this was put together. And, I mean, the lighting just looks way better. Like, it looks way more green and way more atmospheric. I mean, look at that. Versus, let's switch back... 1920 by 1080 open gl i mean these the textures don't seem to blend together at all like they look like they're at totally different resolutions these lights just look sort of plasters on they don't look like lights you know like they just sort of look like bright textures they don't look like lights that one still looks like a light but i bet if i get close to it the illusion oh well goodbye to those guys i mean no this this one looks okay but these ones look terrible in my opinion and what's more, the sludge, I mean, it does look sludgier. It looks a little closer to maybe Half-Life 2. Uh, oh, let me turn on HD, uh, HD models as well. Okay, now we've got the HD gun model as well. I mean, the gun model looks better. And you've got the shiny, like, Half-Life source hands. Uh, wait, do I, I should have the revolver, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not shiny like Half-Life Source in the same way. Uh-oh. I don't know. It just looks way better. The green is greener. The lighting looks better. These lights actually look like lights now, rather than just like flat textures. Now, this is the OG. This is the OG Barney. He looks haggard. You got the atmosphere. They're different guys. This is what I'm telling you. Barney doesn't exist. There's like... <laughs> This is, this is the real Barney. He looks like te 20 years older. He looks like he's done like 10 of those years in like the most brutal war imaginable. He's clenched fists in anger at all times, at rage at the, the world. He's just like, I can't fucking believe the aliens. The aliens here at, at my job. I was just supposed to be retiring. He looks pissed. 
He looks pissed here. He looks like he's sick of dealing with this shit. Look at these lines on his face. Modern Barney. Who is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? That's not, that's not, um, OpenGL though. That's the HD models. This is some Half-Life Source shit. This is how the game's meant to look. Well, that's not good. More water. This lets us get a real close look. You should watch the Pat Bites video. The link's in the description. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. This looks way worse. That was sick. Okay, I don't want to go through the entire game. I'm just going to end it here. I had fun. I hope you had fun.